Welcome to Nepal. And this is the Everest Base Camp Trek. Glad to have you. Thank you. <laughs> Why is Everest Base Camp on your bucket list? <laughs> because I just find it fascinating that people are climbing to levels where airline jets are flying. And I'm just heard it's one of the most beautiful treks in the world. And I, just, I just want to do it. We're excited. We're yes, ready. We're so excited. Get, what brought you to Nepal? <laughs> well, I have nothing else to do this week. So. <laughs> You liked the hike enough to go twice? I liked it enough to come back, take all you with That's me. a good sign, that's a good sign. <laughs> this gondola facing the one three. Namaste.
Cold on my teeth. Holy moly. But what are you doing right now? <laughs> We're reading and it's cold. How cold is it outside? It's freezing and it's day one. It's like 47 degrees. I don't lie. It's a little cold. <laughs> The batteries are draining, so all the camera stuff is in the backpack, so phone video it is. Alright, day two. It's supposed to be a really tough day, headed up to Namchi. So far it's sprinkling, but our body's warming up with the hiking, so it is chilly, but it's not too bad. So it rained overnight, and so the tops of the mountains are absolutely incredible. They're snow-capped, and it's raining down where we are, but the higher we go, we're definitely gonna see some snow this trip. On our way to Nam Chief Bazaar. A lot of uphills, a lot of rocks. The uphill steps really get to me. Other than that, I haven't hurt myself yet. I'm the slowest one. Slowest, safe, safe is fast. Are you impressed? <laughs> Me and your parents. <laughs> We just made it to our lunch spot after this. We're gonna go to the famous Hillary Bridge and then it's pretty much switched back the whole way to Namchi. So today's a tough day. Tomorrow's acclimatization day. We're surviving. It's a little colder than we thought, but uh, your body warms up as you start hiking. She's never done this type of thing before, so she's really amazed. Uh, <laughs> feeling good. Definitely not cold. So, yeah, we're all having a good time. Day. All right, this is what people really need to know about the trek. 
it could be raining. And then it turns into freezing rain, and then it turns into snow. At least compared to Patagonia, this seems way more crowded. And this isn't even the height of the season. So I was really surprised. Like, you are waiting to go up parts of the mountain, like, because of people. I don't enjoy that very much, but... Other people are okay with it because it makes you just go slow, so you don't feel like you have to go really fast, but I don't know. <laughs> Little popular, I would say. Not hard. Yeah, it was really freaking hard, mainly because it's freezing and I'm wet. We just woke up and we went to the Zach. We went to bed immediately after dinner last night, so yesterday was a really tough day for me, but here's our room. We kind of spread out everything, turn around here and show you the view from our room, which is incredible. Good morning. We are hiking to Everest View Hotel. Went through some crazy weather yesterday, so it feels so nice to get a beautiful view, a clear day. It's always good to start in the morning. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is magical. I keep it real. If it sucks, it sucks. If it's beautiful, I tell the people it's beautiful. <laughs> You saw Everest for the I first did. time. I my, my <laughs> yeah, oh. incredible. Amazing. Saw Everest for the first time. That was pretty exciting. Because of the rain yesterday and the slush that we had to trudge through for hours up the mountain, are made for a wonderful view today. Now we're gonna do a short acclimatization hike with our guide and our porters, and then we'll have the afternoon in Namchi to explore. This is uh, on the top of our acclimatization hike. We're going to Sagar Matha next, which is a museum that was actually created after COVID. And it's all about how waste is taken down the mountain sustainably. And they actually create art out of some of the waste, which is really cool. All right, guys, I ended up deciding to make this a separate video. I plan on doing a little deep dive on ecotourism in the Everest region. I liked seeing them place more value on sustainability in an area that is susceptible to over-tourism. So please stay tuned for this one to come out.
day four, we're headed to Tengbuche. And uh, there are different routes that can take you to Everest Base Camp. A lot of people we have seen on the trail are going to Gokyo. Uh, that's a beautiful lake. So that's an option you can do. We are not personally doing that. So we're headed to Everest Base Camp. And if we did not stop, it would take 21 hours from here. <laughs> Taking a picture of Anna Dalvin. Dalvin. Got it. Made it to Tengboche. <laughs> Elevation 3875 meters. All right, on our itinerary, it said it was like 5.745 miles. My Garmin says 7.79 miles, so I don't know what's yes. more accurate, but I feel like I've gone 7.79 miles. Yeah. Protecting everybody. Harder than I thought it was going to be. It was still a solid six and a half hours of hiking. So right now we're kind of just hanging out until dinner time. Everyone sits around the fire to warm up and we can order some drinks. If we end up making it to the top, I'm going to feel very accomplished. Day five starts tomorrow. It's getting a little colder <laughs> as we go up, but it's still not too bad. Every morning the weather is just absolutely beautiful, so we try to leave early as possible to maximize the weather before all the clouds roll in. Um, 
room. Oh, that's a creepy door. We have a mirror. Okay, this is home for the night. This is Chris, reading in bed. Down the hall, there's a couple bathrooms. Um, there's no hot water, but one of the bathrooms does have a flushing toilet, which is pretty great because the past couple days, we've just been taking a bucket of water and just pouring it down the toilet and then gravity kind of does its thing. So that's been an experience. And uh, it's cold, as you can see by what I'm wearing. But yeah, other than that, it's been pretty good, so. Day five, check. I'm shooting sunrise right now and it's just, it's absolutely magical. Look at this. Oh my God. The sun is just coming over the mountains. It's just incredible. All right, so today is day six. We are acclimatizing here in Dingbuche. This is the wonderful little mountain town that we're staying in. It's just nestled between these mountains and it's absolutely incredible. I woke up for sunrise and it was just, it was beautiful. And so today we're hiking up, I think 300 meters, um, just to acclimatize and get used to the altitude and make sure our bodies are prepared for tomorrow's hike to Loboche. So we get some pretty views this morning and then we're just gonna head out and hang out in town for the rest of the day. Oh, oh, dance party. tribute to all the climbers and the trekkers and the mountaineers that you know are brave enough to come up here and adventure but unfortunately lost their lives here and it's just you know it's really sad it's all like Scott Hall 
or Rob Hall and Scott Fisher's memorial and everything. And I guess Sherpas and the local people that have died. But man, it sure is a beautiful place. So I understand the, uh, the allure to want to be here and explore it. And definitely an experience for sure. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just us. And then there were two. Going to Everest Base Camp. So Raquel and I, mom and dad had to turn around. My mom wasn't feeling too good, so they're getting helicopter back back down to Lukla. It's really important. You just got to listen to your body. It's unfortunate, but they crushed it. They made it really far. They got views of Everest, views of the Himalayas. It's absolutely stunning up here. We're sad we're not going to be able to finish it with them, but we're going to finish it for them. 60 year old and 66 year old. <laughs> they did great. It, made it to the second to last day. Pretty awesome. All right, I think we're almost to Gorakshap. You can definitely feel the altitude up here. I'm breathing heavier, faster, but I don't have a headache. I haven't taken anything. I will if my body tells me I need to, but so far I've been so um, I've been good. So we're just taking it easy. It's absolutely stunning. We've got a little ways to go. Last push until base camp today. We're gonna drop our packs and then keep going to head towards base camp. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's our room in Gorakshep, our last hotel room until we head back down. Small and cozy, a little, a little chilly. We're packing a day pack and now we're going to head up to Everest Base Camp and then we turn back around and come back here for the night, so. Everest Base Camp, 5,364 meters. So here's my team. So we made it. you made it. Congratulations, Yay, yeah. Thank you. You made it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Couldn't have yeah. done it without these guys. They're the best. Just to clear, and then as you can see, the clouds have started to roll in. It's better start hiking early. It's 
beautiful glacier down here. It's official. We made it to Everest Base Camp. Eight days, so many miles, a lot of acclimatizing. A lot of hiking, I'm exhausted. The Himalayas are absolutely incredible. I mean, seeing Everest is insane, but seeing the other mountains surrounding it is just as amazing. It is quite crowded here. <laughs> so, there's that. It is quite an accomplishment for, uh, for people to make it this far, so we're happy. We're happy we made it. Harder the second time. Harder the second time, we got a little bit older. <laughs> old. <laughs> Alright, we made it back. Uh, you did. Oh my god. Looks like I got a medal. <laughs> That's tough. It's a long day. We got an early morning hike <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, so once you go to base camp, you can go up to Kalapatar for um, sunset or sunrise, and it's just weather dependent. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Chris's parents are back in Kathmandu um, at the hospital. My mom's doing fine. I'm just uh, <laughs> trying to figure out how insurance works because the child out insurance. is required to come. And now we know why. <laughs> we are going to try to make it back as soon as possible. We're just going to try to like hike it all the way down. Three days. Three days. Three days would be great. I think I can do it. All right. So let's uh, enjoy our evening and yay, we did it. <laughs> I don't think you can see me, but this is one of the wildest things I've ever done. Wake up at 4 a.m. to climb a mountain to catch Everest at sunrise. It's cold. It's probably like, I don't know, five degrees outside Fahrenheit. Ooh. But I think it's gonna be worth it. The hardest part is leaving and we're committed now. I feel like I'm climbing Everest, even though I'm not. Look at these mountains. Down. How do you like this camp? It was awesome. This camp, Kalapatoa, crushed it. That was it. a beautiful view on the way back.
Okay, it's day 11. It's our very last day. It has been a epic tri an epic trip, but I am definitely ready for a shower. I need to wash my hair. It's just, it's been a lot. It's a lot of hiking and a lot of no hot water. So yeah, we're leaving Namche Bazaar and we are going to hike all the way from Namche to Lukla today. And then we're gonna to try to catch a flight from Lukla tomorrow morning. It's all downhill for the most part. So hopefully it won't be too bad, um, but that's kind of hard on my knees. So we'll see how it goes. On the way up from Plakting to Namche, we didn't get much footage because it was just like sleet, rain, freezing rain, kind of snow, slushy conditions. It was just terrible. I was miserable. So it's really nice to have it all melted now. And it's beautiful walking through the forest and the ground is dry. And so it's much, much more enjoyable this time. Hillary Bridge one last time. Rude. <laughs> Cushion it. <laughs> I'm tired. What time is it? It doesn't matter. 2.45. <sighs> We're done. We made it to Lukla. Finally. From? From Namche Bazaar. It's really hard. Nobody says how hard it is. It's pretty hard. My steps did you get? Today, I have 33,000 steps. Not bad. Yeah. Ready to go home? Uh, I wish we could do it again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've come to the end of the trek. Big shout out to Karan and our porters for making our trip such an incredible experience. I'll be sure to link their info in the description. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. I'm happy to answer and share any advice if you plan on trekking in Nepal. I have an entire story highlight saved under EBC on my Insta if you want to check that out too. I will say if I could do it all over, I would have packed a little warmer clothes, maybe a few hand and foot warmers for that sunrise hike to Kalapatar, but you live and you learn. I can't thank you guys enough for watching. It truly means the world to me. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.